This is step one, how to set up squat pose. Walk your feet about three fists apart so that your feet are just a little bit farther apart than your hips. Your toes should point forward. Sometimes you'll see this pose where the feet are pointed out, but we'll keep our toes forward so that our inner thigh muscles stay contracted. Let's begin with the five posture checks. Push your feet through the floor. Stretch your spine all the way up and through the crown of your head. Roll your shoulders down your back. Push your belly into your spine and lift your chest. Add a little chin tuck. Start by micro bending your knees. Tighten your belly and lift your chest. Let's work from the hips. So as you inhale, you lift your hips. Exhale, drop your hips so your knees bend. Inhale and lift. Exhale, hips drop. We'll do this three more times. Try to sit a little lower each time. One more. Now hold it here. Push your butt towards the wall behind you. Tighten your belly and lift your chest. Compress your palms together. Try to keep your chest lifted the whole time. This is step two, how to modify squat pose. Here are some signs that you're sitting too low or working too hard. Your toes start to point out. If this happens, lift up until they point forward. Keep your belly tight and your chest lifted. Your heels start to lift up. If this happens, lift back up until your heels can relax. Then tighten and lift. If you push your butt back, it grounds your heels. If your back is slouched, you might be working too hard. So come back up to standing and set up again. Tighten your belly and lift your chest. Then drop your hips until your knees bend. Push your butt back and lift your chest. This will make your squat active and your back less rounded. In this pose, it's better to have a wider stance with your toes forward versus a smaller stance and your toes pointed outward. And the reason for that is this pose retrains your legs and your core to work together and be stronger. So widen your stance, push your butt back, and lift your chest. If your butt is too low, it starts to get really heavy. Your butt is the heaviest thing about you. So if it's low, it's going to pull your back with you and it might even make you slouch. So push your butt back and then lift your chest. Exhale, push back, like way back. Inhale and lift your chest. It's tough, but it makes you strong. Try to look forward. If you look down, you might start to slouch. So lift your chest as you inhale, Push your butt back as you exhale and look forward. This is step three, squat pose practice video. Walk your feet about three fists apart so that your feet are just farther apart than your hips. Point your toes forward. Then come back up to standing. We'll start with the five posture checks. Push your feet through the floor. Stretch your spine all the way up and through the crown of your head. Roll your shoulders down your back. Push your belly into your spine and lift your chest. Add a little chin tuck. Bring your hands to your hips. Let's work from the hips. So as you inhale, your hips and your chest are up. 
As you exhale, lower your hips to bend your knees. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, sit a little lower. We'll do three more of these. Push your butt back as you sit low. One more lift. And stay here. Compress your hands together at your chest. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, sit low. Push your butt back. Inhale and lift. Exhale, sit lower. We'll do three more breaths just like this. Keep the squat active by pushing your butt back as you exhale and lifting your chest as you inhale. One more. Slowly come back up to standing. 